Hey guys, I'm back with another tarot deck review. I finally got my hands on the Wild Unknown Tarot Deck and Guidebook by Kim Kranz. Now, what's special about this one is that Kim wrote the whole guidebook and she also illustrated everything. So, super excited about this. Um, it does retail for about $40. Um, I did purchase this on Amazon. Um, with Prime, I got a little bit of a deal. So I think this one was like $25.99 or something like that. I don't know, but I snatched it up. And I also got her Animal Spirit Oracle deck as well. I bought them at the same time. So I'll do a separate review for that. Um, in the interest of saving time. So for this video, I have already opened it up. I've already played around with the cards just to kind of get an initial reaction, how I felt with it, because um, I wanted to not make this video five hours long. So what we'll do is I'll show you what's included. I'll show you each card. I'll go through pretty quickly with the card, and then I will um, show you the guidebook, and then I'll give you my thoughts. So it comes in a pretty big box. I was not expecting it to be this big when I bought it. So um, it comes with a guidebook and then the 78 tarot cards. And they are based off of the um, Rider weight. So if you're learning tarot, if you're new to it, um, I think this would be a beautiful deck to start out with because it's pretty... Um, explanatory. It goes into a good amount of info. Um, so you get a kind of view, a sense of the back on the cards, what they are. So if there's a sleeve. You pull out the sleeve, which is kind of nice. And then you get this beautiful box. Let me just back up the camera a little bit so I'm not... There we go. And then the back is the pretty little hand-drawn so you open it up and this is this beautiful little message in the front may you always be on the inner quest and I thought that was so sweet so when I opened this up I was like oh cool ribbon and then I saw the book and I was like oh snap <laughs> so I was really thrilled to see a thick guidebook so it's, I kind of bent it a little bit, but you can see it's really nice. So she has a really pretty forward and um, the, the print is like a hand print. It's just super sweet. I feel like such a positive energy coming from this deck. Like it's not written in a way that would make it feel pretentious or, you know, if you don't know what you're doing, step away kind of a thing. It goes um, and tells you kind of what everything means, the court cards, major, minor, arcana, kind of whatever you want to pronounce it. And then it does go into how shuffling is, cutting is, um, and then your spreads. Goodness, I'm just not getting it in the frame. There we go. So we have a couple different spreads that she has. Connection spread seems interesting. And of course, the um, Celtic Cross year head. So this deck, particular, um, she has not included reverse meanings. Um, she says that um, it's important to have a grounded sense of the 78 cards in their upright position before adding the complexity of reverse meanings to your reading. Again, there is no right or wrong here. You do not need to use reverse cards at all. So I really strongly connected to that because I don't typically do a lot of reversals. Um, and if you're still starting out, you can hear my dogs jingle. If you're still starting out reversing the cards, like when you don't shuffle, when you shuffle to where they can get mixed up and turned upside down, 
then it's harder. It just makes the readings more complicated to try to interpret the reverse meanings instead of just reading the cards as is. So then she goes in through each card's meaning and then a little, you know, quick keyword to it um, and a little paragraph of what it means. And so she does that throughout the suits and then for the um, major arcana too. So we'll go into viewing the cards. I'll put that over there. And then another little ribbon. I always have a difficult time getting them out from ribbons. Anyway, okay. So we'll put the box aside because we don't need that right now. And what I love is that it's in its own separate little box. And then with this it says, Welcome to the wild unknown tarot. You'll find no wrongs or rights inside this box, only mirrors for reflection. Open your mind, draw a card, and have fun on your journey. And honestly, that's what tarot is all about. Um, if you're not having fun with it, then you're only going to get messed up readings. <laughs> so take with that information what you will. And then again, with this box, it has a little ribbon to get all the cards out. And then cute little infinity sign on that as well. I'll put that over here. So, the back of the cards have this pretty little, almost snake print to it. And if you stare at it long enough, <laughs> you kind of go batty. <laughs> but I love, love, love the art on this. Are you ready? I am. So, it looks like pen drawing with watercolor. It's just beautiful. So again, with her deck, it's a smidgen different. So daughter of swords or wands or etc. Daughter is going to be page. Um, I'm trying to remember. We'll, we'll go through it because um, the cards are all mixed up. I think there's a son, a father, and a daughter, I believe. So the son is the knight. Okay. And there are Roman numerals on this, so if you're like me and uh, get mixed up, <laughs> I'm sorry. I love this one, the Ten of Pentacles. It's just super beautiful. All the daughters coming out. There we go, Son of Pentacles. So this would be the knight in your um, classic deck. Mother of Pentacles, that would be the queen. And Father of Pentacles, that would be the king. The star. I'll hold him closer. How about that? So I'll just kind of quickly go through what they look like so you can get a sense of the cards. And um, I did a little reading on it for myself. And I enjoyed the cards. I feel like there is a lot of similar symbology sim symbolism <laughs> in um the cards that are depicted depicted in the um classic tarot i love this one strength strength is any kind of card it's just such a beautiful rendered card in any deck i should say and the high priestess her art skills are just beyond they're beautiful. And I like how not every deck is, you know, has a ton of color. Or not every deck. Every card doesn't have a lot of color. Because then it kind of just lets you appreciate the card as well. What the card is trying to depict. That is beautiful. Wheel of Fortune. Mother of Swords. So this has a lot of nature and animal Symbol or sim symbols, I'll just say symbols make it easy, which I completely just resonate with. I love it. This was always an interesting card when I get it pulled out of the deck. And here we have another classic 
symbol, the three of swords. Little oh, lamp. Oh, Empress, Emperor, the lovers, Justice. So you can see her art style is just almost like line work. It's almost reminiscent of doodles. Like, you know, when you got bored in class and you were just sitting there drawing to keep your mind engaged on your line paper. I love it. And the cardstock is a good thickness too. It's not very flimsy, but it's still going to enable you to shuffle really well. And it's not super glossy. I would call it a matte finish, but there is a little gloss to it. It doesn't have a lot of glare, like you can tell in the video here. The sun is beautiful. As a deck for beginners or people that are just starting out, I feel like if you connect with any sort of nature or animals or just like the drawing or the artwork, it's going to be a perfect little set for you to learn. Um, and the images too, you can kind of fill in the gaps with what the card means as well. So it's not just looking at the card and that's immediately your answer. You can kind of um, use your intuition a little bit more about what it means. I love this one, tree stump for the Ace of Pentacles. Um, tower, we're almost done. But I just wanted to give you a fill of the cards because that's what I always look forward to when I look at tarot reviews or when I'm trying to figure out if I'm gonna like buying them. I look at the reviews and see the pictures. Because if you don't connect with the pictures, it's gonna be kind of hard to um, connect with your intuition with the pictures and read it. So I saw some of the pictures and I said, I have to have it. <laughs> And she goes pretty in depth. Um, she kind of lets you fill in the blanks with the meanings and how it resonates with you and your intuition. And death is the last card. All right. So just a quick recap. Oh, well, before we recap, let's do a little shuffle so I can show you. Ooh, things like to pop out. This is how I shuffle. Just kind of let them fall where they want to fall. And it's kind of hard breaking in a new deck too. Because some of them like to stick together. Which is okay. So yeah, I, I think the size is great. It's pretty standard size of card. Um, they shuffle well. They don't feel flimsy. And... The images are just beautiful. So, overall score, I mean, I don't like giving scores, but, you know, this is definitely one I would buy again. This is one I would gift to people because I know that they're going to have a beautiful little gift box. Basically, that's what it is. You can put um, your cards back in this little box and carry it around. You don't have to do the whole big container which I appreciate because this is like the perfect little travel companion size and then you're gonna get a guidebook that has everything you need in it spreads and definitions and then some so everything's just beautiful you can tell she put a lot of time and effort and love into it and that's what I'm really looking for for decks if somebody loves it and puts passion into their work, then everyone else is going to love it and, put pa and feel that passion. So if you have a chance to check this out or buy for yourself, I highly recommend it. And then um, next time I see you, we'll be hopefully reviewing the Animal Spirit Oracle deck, which will go great with this deck. Similar style and the same author. So let me know what you guys think. What tarot deck should I review next? And, uh, and or Oracle. So like and subscribe, give it a thumbs up, 
and um, let me know what you want to see next. All right, guys. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.